what is up everybody this is beetle 5 keeping the beat with frambo when we last left off we uh crash landed from it was ship and now we're apparently back home but the thing is we got no more pills so i don't know how i'm not gonna be able to see the screwed up world that is the ultra reality anymore and now we're actually in a suburban area oh my goodness this is our street kitty hey street yes it is Oh wow, look at that, alright. Something tells me now that the game is going to be much more simplistic, now that I don't have to, uh, you know, I don't have to take my pills anymore. Ooh, is this my house? And here we are, this looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. This is my home, okay. Aunt Grace, hello! Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, kitty. But I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Oh, that's nice. Hmm, let's find it. Okay, that's nice. Probably in the flower pots. No. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Okay, whatever. My little insects. I took the key for... Oh, who the fuck? Signed Fran. Fra Wait. I took the key? Um... That's some kind of paradox. Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. <laughs> you already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yeah, something tells me that this is where it needs to start really unravel. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. <laughs> but now, in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Uh, all right, then. Wish me luck. You could do it, kitty. Be careful. All right. Here we go. Nice. I'm not sure how you're gonna unlock the door. No opposable thumbs. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Come on, open up. <gasps> oh, shit! It's Dr. Dern! Fran, I can't believe this. You are alive. Where were you? Hello there, Dr. Dern! Do not take me back. Dr. Dern! I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time now. How did you escape? Uh, that's none of your goddamn business. Leave now. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? It's my house. Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why are you here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. Oh, hell no, I'm not coming with you. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. What? What are you talking about? I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open the door in a minute. Yeah, n now would be a real good time for you to open the door, Mr. Midnight. Your cat is dead. Oh, no. No, no, no. Get the hell away from me. No way. Get off my fan, Dr. Dern. No. Oh, you bastard. Don't you dare open that door, cat. Don't you dare open that door now. Don't you dare. Huh. Whoa. Okay. All right, then. Oh, my God. What is this? I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran. I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Frambo. She was found in the woods frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding out about her parents' murder. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. What the fuck? 1934. Whoa! This, I didn't realize how late in the year we were. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in the residence on Hay Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Humla, said, It seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, with which would cause a quick instantaneous death. Also, there are no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. So, I'm really dead? But, I am not dead, sir. This is all lies. Or, it's either 
I'm actually dead, and none of this is really real, or it could just could be that they're wrong. I, I think I'm really dead. I see that. I also found that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of dual team. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. The problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. You kind of been saying that throughout the whole freaking game. But that's because of all the things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the consequences of dual team, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. Well, well, technically, I couldn't show him because I would just take the medicine and only I would see it. No one else would. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you are imagining things, that's all. Oh, shit! Oh! I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Oh, oh, hello, look at this fucker in the back seat here. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. How am I seeing this without the pills? What? Uh, did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows. I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Ramor. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in the with with Palantros and the Great- Well, oh, now you have to- Now you gotta talk crazy while you're, while you're pouring your heart out to this man. You have to sound like you're totally insane. Oh, Christ. What are you talking about? Please, friend, I'm serious. So am I. I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantros, and my kitty is all gone. Palantros? Itward? Please, Fran. Palantros is the doctor of Fidershta. He is a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. Oh my god, I am just- I, I cannot sound any more insane. <laughs> and Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his medicine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Wait, so those- wait, what, those two were real people? Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're a misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald is experimenting on them. He sewed them together. What the hell for? Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Oh. That explains the door to the well. Wow. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Palantras was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Alright! Son of a bitch, this is getting really real here. Here, I, I really, really hope, though, that Dr. Dern doesn't betray me here. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Okay. I'm coming, Dr. Dern! Oh, shit. Weeping Angel here. Hello. Wow, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? I don't want to blink. Get away from you. Ah, oh, another Weeping Angel! God damn it. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Oh my god, are you serious? This is my grave? Oh, uh, why did you bring me here? I'm sorry, friend, but these are how they are. Your parents were killed. I realize this. Yeah, I do. I mean, I'm not an incredibly stupid 10 year old. I may be crazy, but I do realize that my parents are dead, thank you. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. Well, <laughs> don't remind me. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. All right, sir. I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Ah, oh, Christ. Who? <laughs> anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left. You go right. 
I'll see you in a few minutes. Right here. Alright. Yes, Dr. Dern! I'll see you soon. Alright. So, being a bunch of grave diggers, me and Dr. Dern here. Guess we're going this way. Just looking for shovels. Might as well just go here. Knock, knock. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Well, there must be a way to open it. Okay, well. God damn it. No name, no flowers, maybe nobody is down there. That's nice. Well, well, you know what though? I don't have. Oh wait, wait, wait. Durr. I still have a few items left. Maybe I could pry it open with a knife. No. Ah, fuck. How am I supposed? To? Maybe there's something here I can use. Oh, oh. Martin Bow. Was it the the twenty fourth of? 24th of June in 1901, 21st of July. And Lucia Bo Dagenhart. Is, whoa, she was born four years after my father. And then Frambo Dagenhart. Born 1934. I died on this on, a day later. Oh my god. That is fucking crazy. Oh. Oh. Oh, is there something there? Oh, that's bullshit. Where the hell do I go? Can I- Maybe there's something in his car. Aha! Uh -huh, ah! Hey, go! Hi! A crowbar! Awesome! Alright. Now let's go... Pry this bitch open with a crowbar. Oh, oh wait. I never- I didn't click it. There we go. Click! Let's get the hell in there. Hello? Oh, hey! Pineco person! Shh! You have to keep it down, Fabio! Huh, Fabio? Oh, but I'm not Fabio! I'm Fran! Hello, little pinecone! How am I seeing you? What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. Yeah, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> I have big eyes! I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. Uh, the tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Ooh, what? That's quite interesting. Shiny leather? Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deedly worms wanted it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Mm, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. <laughs> I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other out instead. Bring me a piece of leather, and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? But where will I f ever find that? Alright, I'll see what I can do. Alright, lovely. Well, that's about all the time I got for here, but oh my god, the story is like so intense now. I mean, I, it's really making me questioning if I'm alive now or not. I really think I'm dead. I think all this is just crazy shit. But thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment of what else I should play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!